These AI generated images are incredible. No more worrying about stock photography. I mean, are you seeing this? This is insane. This is actually incredible. You don't have to do all of the legwork. It's doing it for us. Hi, I'm Jack with Jack in the Net, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Chat GPT and Midjourney's AI art and show you how they are going to revolutionize WordPress web design. Make sure to share, comment, like, and of course, subscribe. Now, let's dive in. So let's imagine that we're wanting to create a website and it's going to be for a burger restaurant. So we want an amazing homepage image. Where do we get our image from? Well, now we can head over to midjourney.com. Midjourney is going to generate AI art for us. Basically, we're going to input text and it's going to transform our text into an image. So I'm going to put the links to this in the description below so you can follow those or you can just head straight on over to midjourney.com and there you can sign in if you've already done so or you can join up for the beta program. The alternative is to head on over to Discord. Again, I'll put the link in the description below. This is an app which you can launch straight from your desktop and from here you can explore public servers. There's loads on here, but one of them is Midjourney. Okay, you can click onto this and you can access it via here as well for generating images. Now, there's so many things that you can generate with AI art. Just take a look at some of these. These are things that other people have generated from text into imagery, and they are stunning. They're beautiful. This is incredible, and you can take inspiration from this, of course. But let me show you how you can actually generate something yourself. Sign up for a free account with Midjourney and then either via the website or through the Discord app, come on over and you can join something called Newcomer Rooms. You can go in here and you're going to see people creating lots of different things whilst you're working. Okay, so never copy other people, but you can get inspiration from that. When you're ready to start creating, you want to come down here and this is where you're going to start typing. So the way you use Midjourney's artificial intelligence to create some art is by using the imagine prompt. Simply put forward slash imagine and now whatever you type after it, it's going to take the text and it's going to turn it into an image. So for this demonstration, I am building a burger restaurant website. So I want something to do with a burger. So I'm going to put in imagine a photo realistic burger on a dramatic background. And I also want it to not be square. I want it to be a landscape aspect ratio because that's what's going to look good on my website. So uh, by default, Midjourney is going to create one by one aspect ratio squares. To change that, we just need to put in hyphen hyphen AR and then we're going to put in three semicolon two. OK, that's just telling it that we want a three by two aspect ratio, a landscape image. So I ask it to generate those for me and this is what it's come up with. Look at these, they are absolutely incredible. Now, if we wanted to change this, we could. I, I can bring this prompt in a little bit more so that we can get better results. Perhaps I want it to be a chicken burger rather than a beef burger. So I can put in, imagine a photorealistic chicken burger on a dramatic background. And again, I'll put in the aspect ratio to be three by two. I do that and it generates these four images for me. Now these are different variations of obviously the same theme. Well, what if I like one of these, but I want to get more variations of just one of them? We can do that as well with Mid Journey. I happen to really like this one down here. So I'm going to click on V4, version 4, and it's going to generate some more options for me based around this particular image. So now what Midjourney does is it takes the image that I liked best, version 4 as it happens, out of that previous one, and it's going to generate four more AI images for me to have a look at based around that original concept. I mean, these look fantastic. I particularly am drawn to this one down here in the bottom left. So that's going to be number three because this is ordered one, two, three, four. Now, what I want to do is take this image and use it for my website. Now, in order to do that, I want to upscale the image. Now, if we just go back to the original screenshot that I took, instead of choosing a different version here, 
I could have upscaled any of these. And obviously now I've got my other versions, I can do that as well. So I'm gonna click upscale and see what we get. And there we go, Mid Journey upscales our image to this high quality end result. So in just a few minutes, we have taken some simple input text and through artificial intelligence, we have turned it into this incredible image. I would be very proud to put that on a hero section of a website. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now over in WordPress, I'm gonna use Gutenberg, but of course it doesn't matter whether you wanna use a page builder like Elementor or Gutenberg for this. It doesn't matter what theme you're using. I'm just gonna add in a block and in here, I'm gonna put in the image as a background. So let's upload it, put it onto the website. And what I'm gonna do is make it full width. And we're just gonna quickly stick some padding and margin in here just so we can have a look at it. Wow. And there we go, that's the preview that we've got so far on the website. This looks incredible. All I need to do obviously now is put in some text and content, but just before we look at how we can start doing that, which is gonna involve ChatGBT, something else that you can actually do with Mid Journey is generate a whole idea or concept for a landing page. So I could put into Mid Journey forward slash imagine a landing page for a burger restaurant website. And it will bring up for me something like this. I mean, just look at these designs. These look incredible. And, and by the way, I actually prefer these to what we've just generated for an image. This is how specific we could get in our image generation. We could put in, imagine a ultra realistic burger. I mean, if we look at this one down here, number four, an ultra realistic burger with, I don't know, chicken nuggets floating around it and sparks on a dark, background with what's that cheese and nachos we could put all of that in and it's going to generate that sort of image for us i mean this one at the top right that is an incredible landing page obviously we'd change the text but it gives us an idea of what it could look like you know the colors that we might want to use i think there's even a little idea for a logo up there as well so just by putting this in artificial intelligence is generating ideas for you to put onto a website. So it's great that we can use artificial intelligence to generate images for us that we can use in web design. But what about the content? Well, that is where ChatGBT comes in. It's amazing what it can do. There are so many different things that you can apply this to. Web design is just one of them, but it is gonna change the way that we develop websites. It is currently completely free because it is in the testing stage. I'm sure they're gonna bring out sort of paid things as time goes on, but certainly at the moment it's free, but it is still amazing what it can do. It's pretty much breaking the internet at the moment. Maybe not as much as Kim Kardashian did, but it's getting there. So what I can do is pretty much have a conversation with it. I can put in, hi, I'm making a website for my burger restaurant. Can you generate a menu for me? And immediately it's coming up with answers. Sure, here's a sample burger menu for your restaurant. Classic burger, barbecue bacon burger, and it's giving me the descriptions as I go. I mean, are you seeing this? This is insane. This is actually incredible. You don't have to do all of the legwork. It's doing it for us. Now, don't get me wrong. You'd obviously want to personalize this up but we can actually get it to do that for us as well. So what I could do now is put in, thanks. Sounds great. Could you add this to the menu for me? So there we go. And it's already starting to create a name for it. So Applewood Smoke Bacon Burger. Maybe though, I don't like that name. Maybe I could say, could you give me some ideas of other names for this burger? and it's gonna do that for us as well. Sure, here's a few other name options for the Applewood Smoke Bacon Burger. The Southern Comfort. <laughs> the Bacon and Onion Ring Extravaganza. The Smoke and Spice Burger. This is incredible. I wouldn't think of all of these different options, would you? I mean, look at it, we've, we've already got 10. That's fantastic. I like, um, I like a lot of these actually, but let's go with number three. I'll go with number three, please. So it's gonna do that and it can create a menu for us in this way. Now, <laughs> it's an excellent choice apparently. Well, I'll take its word for it. Now, 
what about taking this to a different level? Let's say that we wanted to create um, some SEO rich content for our burger restaurant. So I'll put in, can you write an SEO, an SEO rich description for the homepage of my website telling people we are based in central Manhattan and offer the best quality burgers with the main keyword being burger, burger restaurant, and Manhattan. So, this is now incredible. I mean, if you're watching this, you've probably wondered about search engine optimization before and generating keywords, and it is doing it for us. Look for the best burger in Manhattan. Look no further than our burger restaurant located in the heart of central Manhattan. We take pride in offering the highest quality burgers made with the freshest ingredients. Whether you're in the mood for a classic burger or something more unique, our menu has something for everyone. This, this sounds really good already. But let's say that we want it to expand upon it and maybe make it a little bit more personal. So we can say, uh, thank you. Can you expand on that and make it more personal? Correct my own spelling mistakes. Make it more personal and give it a cheeky vibe. I honestly don't know what it's going to come out with. I've not asked it to do that before, so we'll we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Welcome to the burger joint of your dreams, located right in the heart of central Manhattan. We know you've got options when it comes to where to chow down on a burger. <laughs> Let us tell you we're the real deal. Our burgers are made with nothing but the freshest ingredients and cooked to perfection. We take burger making seriously and it shows in every juicy bite. This is fantastic. I mean, it's it's already completely changed the feel of that straight away. <laughs> Trust us, it's a flavor explosion in your mouth. Now that is that is a statement and a half. This is incredible. I hope you can see this. So let's say that I want to use that. Uh, I can obviously just take this literally come over and I could copy and paste it into here. Now let's say I just wanted a paragraph, I can type it in and it's on the website. Now I'm not going to worry about styling this up to look good. I'm sure you already know how to do that. If you don't check out my channel, I've got lots on WordPress videos. But now this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to using ChatGPT. It can do so many things. I'm exploring more and more with it every day. I've already got it to create a custom Gutenberg block for me. So can you imagine, can you actually imagine all the things that we could do with this when creating a website? You wouldn't actually have to end up paying for other plugins or add-ons anymore. We could get it to create blocks for us. I mean, I'm just going to give you one more example of this. So let me come over here and say, can you write HTML code for me to create a call to action button on my website. Okay, so it's just generated a sample button for us. Let me just show you how easy this is. And I know if you're watching this as a WordPress website, you probably don't use code. Don't worry, you don't have to. You literally just can copy this, come on over and watch this. Let's say I wanted my button up here. I can come here, I can click HTML to put in some custom HTML. I can now paste what it's given us, click preview, and look at that. We've got a call to action button, but of course we can now customize it. So I can say, can you make the background have this color and make the text white? Could you make the background color change on hover to this color, this is just a hex code by the way, so exactly the same as what you'll find in WordPress normally. And I'll put in as well, um, and change the text color on hover to black. This is incredible. Here's the updated code that changes the background color. So there we go, it's generated that for me, so I can now copy that, come back over here, and let's change this. I'm gonna paste in what it's just given us preview that we've got our red and look when I hover over it it changes as well how easy is that so whether or not you're actually wanting it to write code for you or whether you just want it to write the content you're going to put on your page 
the possibilities on this are absolutely incredible. Now you can use it to write marketing emails, you could write it to get it to write Facebook posts for you. You just talk to it, ask it what you want, and it generates the answers for you. And here's the other thing, it's not connected to the internet, so it's actually creating original answers based upon its own programming. Now, you should always double check this. I always think you should go in, personalize it, but you can even ask it, is the content you've given me plagiarism free? And it'll confirm whether or not it is for you, um, and you can change it you know, as and when you need. Um, trying to give you a final example. How about this? Uh, can you write some terms of use for my burger restaurant website? And there we go. It's now creating some terms of use for us. So we can check that, obviously, and then copy and paste it into the site. If you want to know what pages you should have on the site, ask it. What pages should I have on my restaurant website? It's going to come up with, you know, maybe you want contact, Google Map page, uh, shop. If, you, if you're going to get people to order before they come and collect. All these different things. And I'm just literally using this as an example for you. doesn't matter what type of website it is you have. It can do it. The possibilities here really are virtually endless. So I wanna give you one more example here. Let's just say that, again, you're wanting to help drive traffic to your website, you wanna write a blog post. Let's ask it. So I've asked it to write a blog post for me about the benefits of locally sourced ingredients and how we use fresh organic produce in all of the burgers on our menu. Now, it could take me ages, and you as well, I imagine, to actually go through and write a blog post. With this, it can do it for us, and we can keep asking it to expand on different points. And here's the thing to remember. The more information that you give it, the more that you can, can personalize it, the better the information it's gonna give back to you. Okay, for example, it's put in here, obviously, restaurant name. We haven't told it what the name of our restaurant is, so I can tell it the name of our restaurant is Big Bob's Burgers. If there already is a Big Bob's Burgers out there, then uh, I'm not affiliated in any way. I've just done that off the top of my head. Um, but there we go. So it's now going to effectively rewrite the whole thing for us. But instead of having that restaurant name in there in the brackets, it's going to change it over at Big Bob's Burgers. And we could get it to personalize anything else for us in exactly the same way. So it's incredible. Just think of the time savings and all of the applications you could put this towards to make money. So there we go, there is a glimpse of what we can do with these two amazing tools to create a fantastic website. Now, make sure to subscribe because in upcoming videos, I'm gonna be going into detail in how we can use these tools to automate vast parts of our web designing process. I'm exploring with them and learning more and more every single day, so I'm really excited to share what I'm coming across with you. Now, if you've liked this, please do like the video, and I would really enjoy it if you commented as well, because I think this is a really exciting topic. So get chatting below, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you once again for watching. Until next time, see you later.